Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to create a polar pattern in FreeCAD. First we will create a polar pattern of several elements and then we will reuse those elements to create another polar pattern. I will start a new project in the part design workbench. I will create a sketch on the XY plane. Let's create a circle with a diameter of 100 millimeters. Okay, close the sketch and I will add a pad with a thickness of 20 millimeters. Next I will create a sketch on this face. I select this face, choose to create a sketch and here I will draw a triangle. I select the triangle drawing tool and draw the triangle approximately like this. Right click to cancel this operation. Now I will add fillets to the corners of this triangle. I will add dimensions, first the radius dimension, and let's add the distance from this point to the origin of the coordinate system. Here it is 30 millimeters. Next let's add equality constraints between the radii. And now Let's add the distance from this point to this point. Let's enter 15 millimeters. We still have two degrees of freedom here. Now I will add a symmetry constraint between these two points and the y axis. OK, I will change this dimension to 25, then I will add the diameter dimension of the circle to 45 millimeters. OK, we can leave it at that. Close the sketch and now, based on this element, we will create a pocket in the solid. I select the pocket operation and choose through all. OK, now, based on this element, we will create a polar pattern. We select the last operation, choose the polar pattern command, and here we specify the axis of the polar pattern, which is the axis relative to which the polar pattern will be created, the angle at which this polar pattern will be made, and the number of occurrences. Let's add three occurrences here, you can already see in the preview how it will look. As for the pattern axis, we choose this axis here. We can use the axis perpendicular to the sketch, the base axis of the coordinate system, or we can specify references. In this case, the axis perpendicular to the sketch is correct, so we will keep this axis as the pattern axis. And as for the angle, we will make this pattern at an angle of 360 degrees. I click OK, and we have created something like this. As for adding a polar pattern, it's very easy, but now I will show you how to add a polar pattern of a polar pattern. I will create another sketch here, I go to create a sketch and now I will choose to draw a rectangle. I draw a rectangle whose center will lie on the y axis. OK, I will add dimensions. Here 5 millimeters. And here also 5 millimeters. Then I choose the command to create external geometry. I select this line. Now I select this point, this geometry, and I choose this constraint. I will also add fillets to the corners of this rectangle. OK, and let's set the radius of this corner to 1 mm. These two radii will be equal to each other. OK, close the sketch, and I will add a pocket operation also through all. OK, now I will add a polar pattern of this operation. I select this operation, choose the polar pattern command. Here I would like to create this polar pattern at an angle of 45 degrees. As for the axis of the pattern, this axis is correct. I set five occurrences. 
I click OK and now I would like these elements to be created again in a polar pattern so that there are three sets of these pockets on a full circle. Many people do it in such a way that they create one polar pattern, then select that polar pattern and create another polar pattern. We cannot do this in FreeCAD because the features we obtained in the polar pattern cannot be reused to create another pattern. We need to approach this differently. I click cancel to exit this operation. I press Ctrl Z to undo the polar pattern. If we want to get a polar pattern and then use what we get in that polar pattern in the next polar pattern, we must use a different operation, which is the multi-transform operation. Select this operation and choose the create multi-transform command. This command allows us to create several patterns as part of a single operation. To create a polar pattern from a polar pattern, right click here, select add polar pattern, and specify the parameters of the first polar pattern. I enter 45 degrees and number of occurrences 5. In the preview, it looks like this. I would like to add another polar pattern. Right click here, select add polar pattern. Now, at an angle of 360 degrees, I would like to get three instances of the first polar pattern. You can already see in the preview what it looks like. Click OK to confirm. Here also click OK and we have something like this. In this way, in FreeCAD, you can approach creating operations where we need to use several patterns as part of a single operation. We cannot create a polar pattern based on the result of another polar pattern, but we can use the multi-transform operation, which allows for that. We will add one more operation. First, holding the control key, select these two faces and choose the create datum plane command. I would like to create a reference plane that will be placed at the center of this solid. I click OK. This plane will be useful to me shortly. Now, on this face, I will create another sketch. I select this face, choose to create a sketch, and here I will create a circle. OK, with a diameter of 85 millimeters. OK. Based on this circle, I will create a pocket with a depth of 5 millimeters. OK, and now I would like to get such a pocket also on the other side. I will use the mirror operation here. I select this operation, choose the mirror command. As the plane for mirroring, I select the select reference command and select this construction plane. I click OK, turn off the visibility of this plane, and we have created something like this. If you want to make several patterns as part of a single operation, remember that you cannot do this using single patterns, but you need to use the multi-transform operation. The same will also apply to mirroring. If you would like to perform a mirror operation and then want to perform another mirror operation, that also will not work, and I will show you this in another example. We will create a simple element, We will create a rectangle. OK, I will add a pad. And here I will create a hole in this solid. OK, and now I would like to mirror this hole relative to the planes of the coordinate system so that I get this hole in every corner of this solid. If we approach this in such a way that we select the hole, then select the mirror command. And as the plane for mirroring, we select the YZ plane. We click OK. Then we again want to add a mirror operation, and we have the same error that occurred when we tried to add a polar pattern from a polar pattern. Here, in this case, we must also use the multi-transform operation. I select this pocket, choose the multi-transform operation. Here, I select Add Mirrored Transformation. OK. As the first mirror, we perform the mirror relative to the YZ plane. This is the same plane defined by the selection of vertical sketch axis, but here let's choose the base YZ plane. Then I right-click here, select Add Mirrored Transformation, and as the mirroring plane, I select the base XZ plane.
I click OK, and this way we have created something like this. Such situations very often occur among novice FreeCAD users. Many people try to base a mirror operation, linear pattern or polar pattern to perform another type of such operation, and it does not work. But in FreeCAD you need to approach this a bit differently and use the multi-transform operation. We will finish here. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to this channel.